our neighbors make our life a living hell. Maritha and Melanie moved in about six months ago along with Maritha's three sons and four dogs, which bark 24-7. <laughs> After Maritha moved in, I walked over to introduce myself. She immediately started cussing at me, telling me, I know you're the bee that called animal control. I didn't call animal control. But recently, we asked her to take the dogs in, and she told me to take my white ass back in the house. Maritha can be violent and hostile. She had a confrontation with my next door neighbor. Maritha ended up punching her in the face. She was bleeding from her nose and her mouth. Her lip was busted. She has revved up the harassment. Maritha has tweeted about us to basically commit suicide before she does it for us. Maritha told me that I have a gun in my trunk. I haven't had to use it yet, but I'm not afraid to. Maritha installed eight security cameras on the back of their house and two in the front, along with three floodlights. It looks like Walmart lit up in their backyard. One's actually aimed right at my patio and we're constantly on surveillance cameras. They film us every day, it's just nonstop. They're constantly out with their phones in the air videotaping us. My kids don't feel safe anymore. Maritha filed a restraining order on us. She claims that I ask her for money. I ask her for her sexual preference and if me and my husband would swing with her and her partner. It's totally ludicrous. Maritha is out of control and she will do anything to get back at us. John and Alan have been harassing me since I moved in. I am sick and tired of it. I believe because I am a lesbian and in an interracial relationship, that is a problem for Jana and Alan. Jana has been the instigator in keeping this neighborhood in an uproar. She makes herself look like the victim. The police have been called to my residence approximately 17 times. The majority of those for my dogs are working. My dogs are therapy dogs for two of my uh, disabled sons. This started from my dogs being abused. There were kids started off by spraying our dogs with water guns. Also, I'm finding rocks that have been thrown over in my yard. My dogs are barking because there's something not right. Jonna and Alan are at falsifying police reports. Jonna has told the entire neighborhood, the entire subdivision, that she knows I assaulted my neighbor. But in the police report, there are no witnesses. I have surveillance cameras in case there are any more false accusations. Up here, you have a motion light where you see the flag. There's motion lights of someone, kids, my kids, anyone comes out in the back. There's a camera, there's another camera. That's from our home alarm system that came with our package. The surveillance cameras that we do have, it's for our, our protection on our property. There was one morning, we were returning from walking our dogs. A couple days later, I found out that there was a call placed through the emergency system saying that there was two suspicious black males in our neighborhood. When we leave our home, we do live in pairs. In case something happens, we do have a witness. They can ruin our lives. 